Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me Hannah here and thank you so much for joining me today. So today I have the highly requested on my last Shein video, Shein accessories, clothing, not clothing. What am I doing? What am I doing? I've got residual Cadbury's chocolate finger in my mouth. Let me make sure that's gone. <laughs> I'm doing the highly requested um, Shein accessories, jewellery, um, bags, shoes homeware edit so um i thought i would share with you the things that i have picked up from sheen myself but also a few bits that sheen have sent to me so sheen are doing a campaign called love lights up home and it's basically like a wedding season campaign or kind of ways to decorate your home campaign and stuff like that so i'm going to show you a couple of homeware bits but that'll be towards the end first of all i'm going to show you all the accessories and the jewelry pieces and the shoes and clothing and stuff like that that i've bought myself so the things that i have bought myself will be listed in the description below and then the stuff that she and sent me i will put like an asterisk next to it asterisk asterisk the little star next to it um so that you guys know what has been sent to me and what i bought with my own money now you guys know i spend my own money on Shein, on Shein all the time like literally all the time so i am giving you my 100 percent honest opinion as per usual as always i only ever work with companies that i truly kind of love their um clothing or love their items and Shein is one that i absolutely love because i buy stuff from there all the time anyway so let's get started there's so many things to get through so many pairs of shoes so many bits of jewelry and accessories and stuff like that but i'm going to show you this first of all which is something that i've been wearing constantly since i bought it and it's this scarf so it looks like this, it's like a geometric pattern. It really reminds me of like the Fendi pattern or the Fendi colors anyway. So like the brown and the black. Like I love this kind of very designer-esque style of clothing. Like this is from River Island, this top here. Absolutely love it, wow, so nice. Um, but I really, really enjoy the designer inspired items. And this one really reminds me of Fendi and it is just a long, thin scarf. It's quite thin, but you can obviously double it over. Um, and I just love this. I think it looks really, really nice when you've got an all black outfit on and you've got this scarf on. It just looks really, really super chic. I've been wearing the death out of it. Like I've been wearing it to death um so i will link it in the description for you but yeah just normal scarf material it was very very cheap i think it was about five pounds so super happy with that then i have a hat to show you now i only bought this hat because i've seen instagrammers wearing like a white beanie hat and with a big pom-pom on and i wanted one so i got it from Shein. anyway i bought this so you can see it's a very chunky knit obviously we're in summer spring now so we probably wouldn't need this but i just wanted to show you anyway but this is what it looks like it's a very chunky knit white hat and then the pom-pom is you can take it off basically is what is it adjustable not adjustable removable so i'll just shall I put this on and show you i don't know if it suits me i've not really tried it on i don't know maybe in this in the winter it looked kind of cute that's what it looks like anyway I really like it so i bought that and it's a very very good quality hat it's super super thick and chunky again like i said i will link it for you in the description below speaking of hats oh i've got hat hair i've got hat hair not it's not as if my hair's already so so frizzy which it always is i bought two berets so i bought a red beret and i bought a cream beret now i don't suit berets at all but they do look super chic on people i don't know how to wear them is it like this obviously not with this outfit how are you supposed to wear a beret is it further back on your head i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> that looks super funny that's that's definitely not right is it like that i, I don't know i'm uh, i'm losing here guys with the hat game i am super super not used to it and i've got hat hair i've got a piece of string in my hair lovely so i got two berets i got a white beret or a cream beret and a um a red beret the red one is for when i'm wearing polka dots and the white one is for when i'm wearing like a full monochromatic nude outfit so yeah super super cute love it because i love that tonal look where like you've got cream cream trousers a camel colored um knitted vest a white shirt a cream beret and all that sort of good stuff so got those good quality love them so still so much stuff to get through now i just got a parcel through the post from Shein. this is one that i bought for myself so one that i paid for with my own money um and i'm going to show you what was in there so i bought my husband a hat he hates it he said it looks like a grandma's hat 
so this is what it looks like i think it's really good quality it's very thick and on the inside it's fluffy like it's fleecy super good for winter but he said it looks like a grandma's hat so he doesn't want that so i might pass that to one of my brothers or something um but within this parcel i have some sunglasses i have some jewelry i have some shoes i have a lot of things now i've already tried the sunglasses on I've got two pairs one pair is gorgeous and chic the other pair is too small for my face this is the pair that's too small for my face let me show you so this is what they look like they're so nice i love cat eye sunglasses but they're not wide enough for my face <laughs> they look really bad oh my god they look absolutely hilarious um they are too small for my face so these i'm gonna pass on to my mum because she's got a skinnier head than me however the second pair of sunglasses did not let me down i'm not returning them to shein i do do returns sometimes um but i can't be bothered to print out the returns label because they don't give you a returns label you have to print it out can't be bothered with that these are gorgeous now these are what i'm talking about like imagine like look if it was winter if it was winter how good does that like it looks so nice a pair of sunglasses with a woolly hat in the winter i know it's so silly but it just looks like don't bother me don't speak to me i'm busy you know i don't know anyways i really like these sunglasses i think that they're super super nice look at them <gasps> they're so nice i love them they look so expensive um this is what they look like on the sides very big for my big head they come with a little case and they were like two pound fifty hair's messed up again great i've got a mirror right in front of me because you guys know i'm constantly sorting my hair out it's so frizzy um but i bought some frizz stuff from like frizz ease stuff from asos and it hasn't seemed to work too well anyways so i bought two pairs of sunglasses then i bought some jewelry so i bought some earrings you can see these little earrings here with like faces on them very art deco i bought some a silver pair for my friend um i bought these little kind of make a wish make a wish necklaces i'll show you got one for my friend and one for me they're basically little um chains and i'll open the one that i got for myself so it's a little chain with like a geode on the end now the geode isn't real of course of course but i i got them because it's super sweet i'm basically getting my friend a like just a gift bag of stuff together just because she's amazing and she's so generous and i absolutely love her so i just want to treat her um but i got one of these for her so i got her the white one i got myself the pink one that's supposed to resemble rose quartz but i love it because the little saying on it basically says it says make a wish and then it says at the bottom put on this jewelry and make a wish when the chain has worn through legend says your wish will come true just thought it was really sweet having a little kind of quote on there and you know they're all right quality they're not too bad i have got jewelry from shein before and the quality is not bad at all like it really isn't so that's why i continue to buy jewelry from them and it's very cheap so it's like maybe one or two pounds for stuff like this these earrings were three pounds i think so again like i said i'll try and link them in the description um so the, the jewelry from shein is um kind of like just costume jewelry that you would get in like new look or something it's the same quality so i always buy stuff from there especially jewelry now let's get on to shoes and bags and things so i'll show you the one bag that i've got because i haven't got many um and it's this style of bag that has been in fashion quite a bit but i didn't want to spend loads of money on it and but i wanted the bag but i didn't want to spend loads of money on it so this is what i bought looks like this it smells like fish so that's not nice but this is what it looks like the bag it's just a croc bag but it's supposed to resemble the prada one with a little kind of purse with it as you can see so crossbody bag i thought this would be very useful because obviously i'm a mum now so i cannot carry a handbag i have to carry the baby bag which is annoying um but it's got a little kind of coin purse attached to it long strap and then it's just got a kind of croc material very skinny shoulder bag with it as well what am i doing there we go uh, this was 11 pounds this was super super cheap the quality isn't too bad either the quality's not too bad but for 11 pounds what do you expect like the zip is okay it doesn't feel like it's gonna rip or anything but it's lined and it's just a crock bag and the price of it i mean i'm not gonna complain it feels good for the price of 11 quid you know i don't feel like the strap's gonna break or anything so there you go so i got that bag for myself as well then we'll go on to shoes shoes from shein are probably the best quality shoes that i've come across from a website that like not a lot of people sh 
shop on, excuse me. So they're better than Boohoo quality shoes, misguided, etc. Uh, and they're really, really nice. They're very out there. They're very different types of shoes as well that you can't get on the high street. And one pair that I got were these ones here. So they are a sock boot. You guys know I love sock boots because they are kind of very um, forgiving for wide feet. And they are a brown sock boot. I'm actually wearing them with this outfit today. Um, they're square toe, so super, super chic. And they have a block heel, as you can see. So these are the shoes that I am wearing at the moment today with my outfit. I've got on basically a um, this top from River Island, a pair of um, very thick leggings and these boots here. They're really, really nice. I got these for about 20... No, no, no about 15 99 now their shoes range from about seven pounds all the way up until about 30 pounds and i think they're so 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 worth it these i could not find anything like this on the high street unless i was shopping in like mango and if i was getting them from mango it cost me about 60 to 70 pounds for a pair of boots like this now bear in mind they're not real leather but i'm not really bothered about that because my shoes get worn so much that um my, sorry, I, my shoes don't get worn that much because I have so many pairs, so I'm constantly re rotating them. But yeah, those are the first pair of shoes. Second pair is the ones that have just come through the post now. These were on sale, so if you go to the shoe section on Shein, one thing that I love to do is go from low to high because they have some amazing shoes on sale. Um, and this is a pair that I got now. It comes in a little duster bag. I've not actually tried these on. Let's have a look at them. Gorgeous already know that i'm going to love them but this is what they look like they've got a pearl embellishment on the front i think these are 7.99 on sale so they're a pointed shoe they're a cloth material as you can see and they have this pearl embellishment on the front now i've got embellished shoes from Shein before i have something similar to this in like a creamy nude color um and i got the black version 7.99 for these i mean they make every outfit look super super good with this kind of um embellishment on the front they remind me of like manolo blahniks or um dior shoes or any other kind of shoe that has a nice embellishment on the, on the front but these i got them in a size 39 which is a uk six and a half i would suggest going up half a size so if you're a size five get a five and a half if you're a size six get a six and a half that sort of thing uh, just because you can't be too careful then i have two more pairs of shoes to show you they came in a box and I'll get those out for you. Again, got them in a size 39. I <gasps> oh, was looking forward to these shoes. So this is the first pair. These are cute. So I'll show you them. Oh, this is the first pair of shoes. Small tiny heel because your girl can't walk in heels. Square toe with a little bow on the front with these little kind of studs on, rock star studs, kind of like the Valentino style esque, and a little ankle strap. These are really cute. Oh, I love these. And these were $14.99, so cheap for shoes. Um, so I got these, I got these in a Euro 40 because there wasn't a 39 in stock, so I got those in a um, Euro 40, which is a UK 7, which is fine. Um, a UK 7 because I'm like a size six, six and a half. So those are another pair. And then these ones I was really looking forward to. This whole going to be so long because I've still got a full, a full box of homeware stuff to get through as well. Um, these are the ones that I've been wanting for a very, very long time. Because they really remind me of the Valentino ones. This is what they look like. They've got an ankle strap. Oh, these, sh these studs are sharp. Like, really, really sharp. This is what they look like. They're pointed. They have this leather-esque look to them. Got these in a size 7 because again they must have not been a size 6.5 in stock um they feel really good quality yeah they feel like really good quality these they smell like that new shoe smell anyway these are what they look like they're really nice i really like those um, these are 20 99 so that's why I was a bit more hesitant to buy those because I was like, £20 on a pair of shoes when I can buy like nice ones for like £15. Uh, I didn't want to buy them, but then I just kind of took the bullet and um, bit the bullet, is that the saying? And bought them anyway. So those are all the things that I bought myself from Shein. So there's a lot of stuff. Now I'll get onto the stuff that Shein sent me, which was the more homeware bits now. First of all, I'll start off with this. Now my husband said, what the hell is this? They've got gaffer tape around, around it. 
and um, which is basically electrical tape which they do but from far away it looks really pretty it's this tree uh lamp sorry guys my camera keeps dying anyway it's this tree lamp it has electrical tape around it as you can see but from far away it looks really nice it's very very light like it's super super light but it was like five pounds i think but i love this because and i'll tell you why so if it's from far away like on a shelf or something you can't tell it has a usb so you can actually plug it into a mains socket but it also has battery powered as well and then it has this button at the top which has nine different or eight different settings for these lights now i will insert a clip to make you uh, to, to make sure i can show you what it actually looks like but i know that my mum would love something like this because the lights are so pretty they have eight different functions as i said so you can actually kind of have them on flashing kind of um, on and off that sort of thing so really really pretty anyways then i got these now i bought um well i didn't buy they sent me these so as i said this part is the stuff that she sent to me now i got this for my purpose I'll show you what it looks like so it's basically a ring for your curtains as you can see again i'll try and insert a clip of it on my curtains so it's a ring that goes around your curtains to keep them together and then you stick this little stag wherever it kind of fits so say you've put it around your curtains and then you'll stick this through the little kind of holes in this area anyway you stick it in and then you'd have the little stag on the front of your curtain so it'd be holding your curtains in place and this little stag and tassel would be around it i think that was really really nice i think it's like a different type of touch i also got some posters now there's a lot more homeware stuff like cushion covers and bedding and stuff but i just want to show you quickly got some posters so i got this one here as you can see and it's printed on like this paper i don't know how to explain it to you like this very not paper sorry material it's printed on material and me and my husband's have recently me and my husband's like i've got long lords um me and my husband have recently bought loads of um frames because we're going to be putting a lot of pictures up around our house so i got these two from sheen i love this camper van one it's so cute and it matches my front room my front room is green and blue so that's why i bought a green and blue poster or got sent a green and blue poster then i got some storage so i think this is if i can open it oh i can't open it up oh my gosh it's just gonna take a while there you go so you put them in, put them in your drawers and you can obviously um close it up if you want to so you can close the box up if you want to or you can keep it open i'm probably going to keep it open and put stuff like um lingerie like you know socks and stuff like that in here so that's just like a blue spotty storage box from Shein. i got some cushion covers as i said my room is blue and green so i got some cushion covers now these are super super sweet cushion covers they've got gold accents because my room is green blue and gold this is what the cushion cover looks like again i'll insert a clip of it actually on a cushion but it's like this velvety with gold bees all over it so i've got two green ones and two blue ones i'm making a mess on the floor in front of me two blue ones they're quite good quality as well that's what the blue one looks like they're really cute i really like them they were very very uh inexpensive as well cushion covers are so expensive usually um i also got this which is a bit random but it's four or five Eid Mubarak signs because Eid's around the corner. I want to put one on my back door. So like when the postman comes, it's got a little Eid Mubarak sign on. That's kind of cute. So you get five. I'm going to give some to my family as well so they can put them on their doors. I have rope with it as well that you can actually tie it on. So I thought that was really, really cute. Um, here are the, the other cushion covers and the other little stag. Then I have this. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to get it out oh it's vacuum sealed so i'm gonna open some camera with you guys hopefully the camera doesn't turn off it's vacuum packed so we'll see what it's like they literally vacuum packed this like crazy oh my gosh it's super heavy so you know that it's massive but it's vacuum packed that much oh my gosh it's so heavy it's supposed to be a fluffy throw how am i gonna open this I just rip it open let all the air out yeah that's why right. oh my gosh wow so soft this is massive it's basically a really stupid camera uh oh <coughs> so camera turned off again as i was saying it's basically a really big fluffy cream throw it's absolutely massive guys i think it's the size of a king size bed 
it's quite thin so you can see it's not very very chunky it's quite thin i think this was about 40 pounds but the size of it for the size of it it's worth it because you usually get small throws for about 30 40 pound from the range like really small ones that are kind of like half the size of a double bed or half the size of a king size bed this is an actual king size bed size throw and you probably see it in the background of my my videos because it's going to go on this bed but it's like a cream fluffy warm throw really happy and pleased with this just nice to kind of cozy up under oh i really like that i'm i'm super impressed i, th I thought that was going to be like terrible quality and then i also got a duvet set now this duvet set can i actually show it you or will i have to show it you on my actual bed it's like it feels very very soft and it's basically a pom-pom duvet set i'm so happy with this the color of it is gorgeous the color of it is going to be for this room and i just love the fact that there's pom-poms around it a pom-pom trim and it's just plain so i thought this duvet set with the pom-pom trim and then throw the the throw over the bed the fluffy throw it's just gonna look super super cute so happy with this and again this was very reasonably priced it's about 40 pounds for the king size set uh, and it's very very soft um i usually get my king size bedding from simply being it's about 60 65 pounds for a set of uh, bedding which is quite expensive and then the last item i got is this which is quite random for me quite random for me but i just want you to try it out i want you to see what it looks like i might put it in the hallway or something so it's this like a deco mirror that you put on the wall if you got like two or three of these that would be quite cute wouldn't it um it's got um something on the mirror so the mirror is obviously not so shiny but it's got like a piece of plastic over it and then it came with a comb because i think you're supposed to comb these tassels out but i can't bother to do that right now um but again really reasonably priced things about five pounds for this deco mirror and i feel like one or two or three of these in the hallway would look super super cute as well yeah so um i got a deco mirror too so that was everything guys there was so much stuff so much so much stuff there for you but like i said i promised you guys that i would do an accessories and homeware and shoes and and jewelry haul for you from shein and let you know what i thought they do have good quality stuff i will say you do need to check the reviews though. i always say that to everybody check the reviews because people on there are brutally honest um and i've been brutally honest here as well but i just i've checked the reviews beforehand so i didn't, didn't get any duds if you know what i mean i feel like when people get loads of duds it's because they don't check the reviews you know so uh yeah gorgeous stuff i've also got a shein haul coming up in about maybe three weeks it's not arrived yet i've just um got it ordered and uh, another collaboration with them um and that's for some gorgeous spring tops and kind of very chic tops like this one here that i've got on but this is from river island um so that'll be coming up soon if you have any video ideas then please let me know in the comments below because i'm running out of ideas because i've not been shopping that much so i don't know what videos to make but anyways um i hope you guys enjoyed that and yeah give this video a thumbs up subscribe to me if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> thanks for watching bye